Number two, step forward I and speak the line three. you were given. <laughs> I can't read. Just say the actually, line number, number one, one looks said. familiar, but I actually you killed somebody that looked like that, so that doesn't make any sense. You are sense. nothing but a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stupid. You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Thank you. Step back, number two. Number three. You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Aren't I supposed to identify any of the men in jumpsuits? That's none of your concern. Just concentrate on the task at hand. I wonder if Mona's you voice... Any of voice, them. uh... Yeah. Number three's the one. Thank Voice you. actor changed. Okay, we're done. Take them away. Okay, ladies. I don't know. I'll this check. I'll have to check that. The next time I get here. done recording, come to get you once I'll the get done with done. anything. Or next time I have a chance of whatever. I tried to help you, Max, but you didn't listen. Now it's too late. Oh, do do you want to hear? Oh, you don't want to hear that somebody called you? Fine. Rude. Detective Payne, anything you'd like to add? As I was trying to tell the other detective, the place was crawling with guys in gray overalls. Mm -hmm. They sure as hell weren't cleaning the place. Should I be writing but this down? she wasn't too keen on listening to me. It's hard to say who was out to kill who, but the chick I just fingered... Whoa, buddy! Suits, Jeez! Serious that is... Fight. No, that is not acceptable okay, behavior in, no, in a public you. setting. By the way, I like your... I like your jacket. It's very, very nice leather. Is that real or is it... Is it... Is it pleather? Because if your jacket's pleather, then I have no use for you, Mr. Mole Man on the moly face of moles. Mole. All right. They're taking the fall, both of them. Payne was with her when she was arrested. Who are you talking to? Yeah. You're leaking information. Bravura's too soft on you. I was informing the proper authorities on what they should know. Stay away from my case, Max. Stay away for your own good. Everything had started out as black and white. Somewhere down the road, the line went blurry. The colors started to run, got smudged and gray. Winterson had been above my suspicion. It felt like a goodbye. Is it a late goodbye? <laughs> oh, right, you don't get that reference yet. Eh, you will. It's all right. If you played Max Payne, you get that reference. Oh, hey, guys. What you watching there? Some lords and ladies. You are two grown men, and you're watching a soap opera. No, I'm turning this off. We were watching that, asshole. Mama, I tried to stop him, but he is beyond reason. You're, you're kidding. Ugh, whatever. Let's turn on this air conditioner. It's hot in here. She is no lady. Hey, nice going, Payne. Oh, no. If it was still Jack summer, you'd be a dead man right about son. now. You better stop you praying. We won't get right an Indian summer, Payne. In oh, jeez. I'm sorry, guys. It was just hot in here. Oh, gosh. Wait, who's that? I don't care. I just all of a sudden didn't give a crap. What's over here? Oh, hello. I want to report a crime. You've come to the right place. Okay, so my boyfriend, the loser jerk, sits on his ass all day and keeps playing these stupid video games. You know, stupid dick justice and stuff. They made a Doesn't dick justice work, video game? I want to no play thought. that. Unfortunately, being a jerk is not a crime. No, no, I wasn't finished. I'm getting to it. So I got real sick of it and threw the television out of the window. It was mine. I can do whatever I want with it, right? As long as no one got hurt. That's what I told him. He's my ex, really. But now the sicko's threatening to kill me. That's a crime, right? He's been playing those video games an awful lot. Makes him a very good shooter. Holding that controller's like holding a gun, they say in the news. You gotta help me. I fear for my life. Okay, miss. Sit down for a moment and we'll take your name and address and see what we can do about it. Okay. You're, you're kidding me. Holding a controller is like holding a gun. She sounds like every left-wing liberal in the U.S. government. How come it's this hot in here? It's fall and raining outside. Has someone messed up the air conditioning again? Why is it so hot in here? It's fall and raining outside. Whatever. Let's see what this chick has to say. I wouldn't be afraid to go home if you'd be there. I can give you my number in case you ever get an urge to protect someone in the middle of the night. I I don't get it. What? What? Is Max attractive? 
I never found Max to be so. I, the is lineup he? was done. Mona was back in her cell. Max Payne 1, the he wasn't very attractive. Downstairs. No offense, Sam Lake, you're a very nice man and stuff, and I'm sure that in uh, uh, wherever, Finland or Sweden or Poland or wherever, you're a very respectable looking man. It's just that I guess Timothy Gibbs. I have never known anything that Timothy Gibbs has done. I'm probably going to Google that now. I know what James McCaffrey has done. Wanna get to the he was in, he was in a press the buzzer good the couple episodes of Rescue Me. In. He's been in a few movies, too. He was in Sex in the City Being once. Here, Don't ask how I know that. I looked at his wiki customers. page. There's your answer. I looked at his wiki Mona page. Sax. I don't watch Sex in the City. The to left. <laughs> Excuse Mona me. Sax, huh? Yes. Lucky Mona Sax. I wouldn't mind getting a statement from her. Yeah, yeah I've known her for way too long. Lucker. Yeah, whatever. She killed someone? Well, better be careful, Payne. Very basic instinct. What, you're saying that Mona Sax is Sharon Stone? You're you're implying that uh, whatever. Oh. Oh, just oh. Oh. Not again. Jesus, not again. Just when we got rid of the stench of the last time. Oh, that Peter bites, Fred, bud. Do I look like a clean idiot you. <laughs> you Yeah, because if you were a clean if he looked like a cleaner, sorry, then I'd have to kill him. Sorry, I can't help it. It's a vision. Uh, you you have a rough bud. Max. Yes, I am. You've got to get Max. me out of here. You know I can't do that. If I stay here, I'll die. Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Behind bars, I'm a sitting duck. This is as safe as it gets. Come on, Max. Any one of these cops could be on the Inner Circle's payroll. You should know. What's that supposed to mean? You know Alfred Woden. You want answers? Call him. He'll verify everything I've told you. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll call Alfred Woden. To do with Woden. The guy who still the wasn't in Max Circle. Payne the movie. There's one through the door. Let's go in here. You. you can use that. How fucked up is that? That's pretty fucked up. Who can say that again? I mean, there I am driving a stolen car on my way to the lot to get a trunk full of illegal guns to sell. Mind you, I don't have them yet. At this point, apart from the wheels under me, I'm a law-abiding citizen. At this point, I'm still just on my way to get the guns, okay? So the cops pull me over. That's fucked up. Uh, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm thinking when they when they pull me over. This is fucked up. And you know what? They couldn't care less about the car. No shit. That's the irony. It's some kind of if you drink, don't drive campaign. All they want is for me to blow into a breathalyzer. No shit. I kid you not. So with a breath of relief, I take the damn test. And just when it's over, when they're just about to wave me on my way. Uh oh. The cop's eyes zoom in and stop on something sticking out from under the seat. Game over. What? A fucking gun. I didn't even know it was there. Must have belonged to the owner. Unlicensed. Turns out it's a murder weapon. How fucked up is that? It's pretty fucked up. So, uh, what are you in here for? Oh, me? A DUI. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> What are you in here for? Oh, me? DUI. <laughs> Didn't sound drunk. I need to make a call. You can use this phone. I was gonna use it anyway, whether you're gonna give me permission or not. You've reached the voicemail of Senator Alfred Woden. Please leave a message. Woden, Max Payne. We need to have a talk. You ask me, you still owe me. Ugh, great. Jesus Christ! A bomb? That was a bomb! Upstairs, now! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Upstairs, now! Something was off. Mona's words on her being a sitting duck kept playing in my head. The bomb had misdirection written all over it. Stop it! Oh! Armed perps in the locker! Officer down! Take him down! Find the bitch! Find her! Kill her! NYPD! Drop your gun! Mona, you sly goose. No, don't leave. Mona no, stay. Right. Oh. I had to go after her. Dang it. I needed a gun to get past the cleaners. Oh, Max, really? You needed a gun? How about two guns? Help. Somebody. Officer down. Oh. 
<laughs> I tried to shoot him in the face as much as I could. Good luck, though. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Uh, you know what? No. I, I just, no. I hate you guys. Oh no. I hope that crouching down and not moving helps my aim. I don't think it does jack though. And let me guess, he's gonna pull out the. Oh, I thought he was gonna pull out the clash. Ah, don't kill me. I'm sorry. Grenade. Get the grenade. I get him. Yeah, that's the way that Krubby deals. I have I have way too much health missing. Oh, jeez. I need painkillers bad. No, I need more than one, buddy. Look at this guy just laying on top of the thing. I love her. Oh, wait. I can do that in this game? Oh. That might have been helpful to know. It wasn't working for me before. Why the hell did it start working now? Oh, whatever. Let's Staying go. Here, trapped behind a desk would have solved nothing. All right. How do Mona I get out of here? vanished into the night. Without her, I had nothing to go on. And I have I no car. I her. Huh? That Mercedes Benz looks awfully familiar. Have no fear. Vlad is here. The world was getting too small for comfort. Too many coincidences. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. A giant-headed Captain Baseball Bat Boy costume lay in the back seat. Gearing up for Halloween? Max, dearest of all my friends. Call it my Trojan horse in the war Vinnie Gogniti started. Speaking of which, any news? Do me a favor. Drop me off at Coney Island. Does the inner circle ring any bells? Nothing mystical about them. Even if they themselves would like to think so. Just one step up the ladder of organized crime. I see where you're going with this. Gogniti has made a deal with them. What about Mona Sachs? I know of her. Her reputation as a hired killer. I hear she is a stone fox. I would fuck her. Right then, I hated Vlad. Max, I need to ask your advice as a friend. Ask. Hypothetically, if the only choice you've got is to do the wrong thing, then it's not really the wrong thing. It's more like fate. You have to do what you have to do. It's never that easy. Of course. We agree to disagree. Well, that uh, was too convenient. Why was I there again? Wait. Wait just a minute. Talk to me. What are you so afraid of? What do you want from me? The things that I want by Max Payne. The smoke. A whiskey. For the sun to shine. I want to sleep to forget. To change the past. My wife and baby girl back. Unlimited ammo and license to kill. Right then, more than anything, I wanted her. You led them here. Up to my place. We can take them there. All right. Looks like we're gearing up for the full frontal assault from the. Okay. Nope. Nope. Not full frontal. Rear. Rear. Rear side assault. Okay. This way. Oh yeah, I know where to go, Mona. I've been there before. Ah! Ah, I'm falling. Max! No wonder this game's called the Fall of Max Payne. <laughs> the fear of losing it. 
the only fall I'm gonna take. Foreshadowing. The thought makes you weak. Wait, Mona, come back! Help me! Why are you leaving me? Of course she left me. Great. And I have no help. No! Oh my goodness. You know what would have happened right there? Head. If I would have died, you know, I would have literally had to go back to the police station. Oh. Jeez. Let's do a manual save here. Ugh. Yeah, I know. I have a bunch of saves. No, don't load. Oh my goodness. I almost loaded. That would have been horrid. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Why did I press the pause button again? All right. Let's go.